What's going on, everyone? Happy birthday. I'm 40 today. God damn it. I made 40 years with you assholes in my life. All of you. Except for my family. They're cool. This is the old one. This, with the wind vortex, creates such pressure that, like, I was waking up and I felt like I had, like, dude, I felt like I was in eighth grade and I was, like, making out in between classes all, all you know, all day. And then I had chafing and my lip was sore. And it was because this thingy with this one, way too much pressure. That's why they have the tiny little one. Tiny little thingy. But we're going to do one with the super pressure real fast because it's my birthday. Um, probably, if no one pisses me off, I'm prop because I have to I set up some test chains. But now I have to get test Ethereum or spend my own Ethereum, which I don't want to do. Because Ethereum is like two thousand dollars right now, so I need like one to three tests Ethereum to start the bugs, the bug bounty and shit. So I'm kind of at a standstill until someone gives me a thingy on that, which is probably gonna not happen until after Christmas. Until after Christmas. All right. That is so much better, but I can already feel it. The water is not supposed to come up to this one, but when I use this one, it gets sucked up to that one. I can already feel it on my lip. <coughs> All right. So, <coughs> I'm probably going to do some, for my birthday, I'll probably do some K pop bullshit later with Mid Journey and <laughs> Chat GPT. Uh, if I'll try to have it done by Christmas. I'm not going to promise anything. And now I'm going to have to add a whole new. Sub sub story or subplot. See, that's what Tiffany ruins everything. Now I'm gonna have to add like a subplot of Tiffany being involved somehow with Taeon, and that's gonna have to lead to Girls' Generation, which is what I did not want to do because that would be twelve chapters. God damn. We'll see what I can do later on. Okay. Um. Look, I was upset. Like, I, I used to like rap, not not the new shit. Now I don't even like the old shit because it's a stupid bullshit. But the issue has never been the music or the people in the music. It's always been, as I've said, there seems to be something more going on. Otherwise, they would just communicate. Because the fact that Tiffany had to use a burner phone to tell me she was going to the studio, hello, 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 hello. Right? It seems like that was her breaking the rules. And also, there, there's some things they put up about Tiffany, like, getting excited that she got the part in Chicago, and she's, like, acting super... Yeah, she acts super dorky because she's a super dork. Which is why it doesn't make sense that she was doing some other shit. It seemed forced, right? And Tiffany likes to drink wine, but not that much. She doesn't drink that much wine, right? She was on, like, her, like, second glass. I was on, like, my 15th shot of whiskey and shit like that, right? I might have even finished her wine for her. I don't remember. Because she was taking too long to drink it. And I was like, here, let, let me get us some new ones. And I finished her wine to get her a new wine. And that was her second glass, if I remember correctly. Anyways. So the issue seems to be that I can yell at her, her family her management, the people she's going to collaborate, make all kinds of jokes about them, call them names, and continuously for months. And she still won't use words. The most she'll do is not put something out and then blame me for it. So then when it comes out yesterday that 
three, if not four, of the people, Eminem, Pharrell, and I can't remember who the other one is, uh, I, I, I wrote it down, right, are, are guaranteed to be on Epstein's flight list. And again, these are the artists that they wanted to have Tiffany collaborating with or leading up to a collaboration with, right? Right? That's why she needed the money so bad, so she could pay them off, so she, they wouldn't have any... Any, 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 any control over her career anymore? I already figured out that Poppin' Fresh is like the nobody. He's like the deacon. He's like the guy holding, like in Mormon shit, you know, like when you like turn 11 or 12, you like, you're the, you like go and break up the bread and you, and you stand by the aisles and you give it to everyone because you're like the young one. You don't, you don't really do anything. Or maybe he's one of the ones holding the door open for everyone to come in and handing out the pamphlet. You know, he ain't, he ain't the top guy. Right? I already figured that one out a minute ago. All right? The reason why you sword at the face, you keep the sword in the face, is to get a reaction. Hey, man, he's, he's, he's just the, the, the lead up to her getting pimped out to those motherfuckers. I already knew that shit, too. So I was making a big deal about it. All right? What does this have to do with the Epstein client list? I keep on saying, what, what did Tiffany have to do to get all her bullshit? Probably she only had to go into debt. And she was trying to find a way to pay off that debt before. Probably what she did was say, I met this guy with a lot of crypto, so I'll just go into debt. And then when I need it paid off, I'll, then I'll tell him I'm Tiffany. Stupid fucking whore. It's kind of what she did. So whatever. For my birthday, it seems like Tiffany posted again with Sublime that she's involved with Samsung. It only cost me the majority of I had to unstake and sell, not at a loss, but not at a profit that I wanted to. So Tiffany could not get pimped out to a bunch of douches. If Tiffany wants to make a rap song, I don't understand why she didn't just say, Hey, look at my management team, I want to make a rap song. I'm going to collaborate with these people. We're expected to make these these sales. Like that's my business. That's what I do. Could you be there? That'd be great. If not, I understand you got a job too. We're adults. Blah, blah, blah. None of that bullshit. It's like literally someone was throwing it in my face that they control Tiffany and that she will do whatever they say. And then magically, money went missing, and she started doing a bunch of modeling bullshit. And Taeyeon had to do some rap bullshit instead. Whatever, I don't give a shit. Happy birthday. Something tells me this is this is like... Something tells me like 20 years from now, I'll be like, remember that time when all I had to do was deal with some bullshit? I don't know. I also know that uh, Diba, whoever Diba is, which is probably Su Young, was bitching about how. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to say this. About how Taeyeon didn't have anything to do with Jessica leaving. Girls' generation because all the girls are cutthroat and they would turn on Taeyeon if they needed to. Then she started bitching about how Soo Young's been dating her boyfriend for 10 years and still isn't married. What the fuck does that have to do with anything I have going on? For months. Your little bots have been bitching about how much of an asshole I am, how Tiffany is not a whore, how Tiffany is a musical genius and whatever the fuck, and she has to collaborate and blah, 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 blah. They didn't mention anything about Soo Young, anything about her, about, about her not being married or engaged. Why the fuck is all of a sudden now Soo Young's uh, marital status an issue? What is this gonna have? To, what is what am I gonna have to? What is this gonna cost me? This is what I'm talking about. She doesn't use words. She just 
does things. This is why I had to I'm probably gonna get some coffee and then for my birthday I'll make I'll show you guys how I make the story. We'll make the next chapter, maybe two, and then I'll do one of those things where I listen to music for an hour and I just use art shit or maybe I don't. We'll see what happens. I'll try to do some at the very least the next part of the whatever. Kwangya bullshit. I guess I have to bring Giselle in now. And winter, but I'm gonna have to find a way to bring in Tiffany and Taeon. It's just gonna be, it was supposed to be about hacking and the code of steel, the law of steel. And it got hijacked by Tiffany again. So, happy birthday.